The next part of this is about the autocovariance function when you have missing data. Now, we'll first define an indicator function a, that is 1 if yt is observed, and 0 if it's missing. And then we'll define ca of k, that is the sum of all the possible combinations of a at time t and t plus k. So what does that reflect? Well, a at time t times t plus k, or the absolute value of k, what does that mean? Well, the product here is 0 if one of them is missing, and 1 if they're both observed. So this here is a count of, and then you divide by n, so it's a proportion of how many um, how large a proportion of the possible pairs that can go in to an autocovariant are actually available. So then you can use this to estimate y to, es to say, well, how many of the observations are actually in here as a mean value of the process. And now we can also start looking at not quite the autocorrelation covariance function, because we divide by n out here, but we look at an indicator here, 0, 1, multiplied by the corresponding pair, and that means that we only get a contribution to the sum if the pair is observed. So basically, this is just summing over all the possible pairs. And now to get a sample autocovariance, an estimate of that, you just have to normalize with this here, normalize that with the proportion of pair, possible pairs that are actually observed. Then we get an estimator that is consistent. And you can also do that in R using na.action equals na.omit. Uh, 